Now that we've seen our first implementation of sine waves, let's think of some other potential scenarios that could be useful. It seems sine waves are very good at modeling any motion that oscillates between a minimum and maximum value. One scenario that comes to mind is the changing tides at a beach. Tides are an extremely reliable pattern because they are caused by the gravitational pull of the sun and moon. So as long as the sun continues to rise each day, the tides will follow along. Thus, if we start by finding the time at which the water is at its lowest, we can mark that as the minimum or trough of our sine wave. And if we find the point at which it is highest, we can mark that as the max or peak. It is of course also important to consider the duration of this change from maximum to minimum. If we were to plot the depth of water throughout the day, we might see something like this. It's important to note that tides change each day. So this model would only be for one given day. Since the sunrise time changes throughout the year, we need to do further calculations to predict future tide patterns.